In the year 2000, a legacy was born. Paper Mario and its subsequent sequel on the GameCube, The Thousand Year Door, have gone down in history as two of the greatest RPGs of all time. Accessible to veterans and newcomers alike with a really witty story, fun mechanics, beautiful presentation, overall those two games are arguably some of Nintendo's best. Ever since then, Nintendo has been grasping at straws to try and recreate some of that Paper Mario magic. While newer entry Color Splash and Super Paper Mario have gathered their own fans, neither of them seem to be held to the same regard and respect as the original two. However, with Paper Mario the Origami King coming out soon, all Nintendo fans have one question in their mind. A question that some people have been waiting to get answered for decades. That question is, can you play the original Paper Mario with a paper controller? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Thomas from the Switched Up, and here's my attempt at playing Paper Mario with paper. In this epic and groundbreaking video, I want to answer three questions. How, why, and did this even work slash is it possible? With that out of the way, let's get into how I went about doing this. This right here is a device called a Makey Makey. Apparently some of you have used this in school because I used it in a past video once and people were like, oh, I, I use that in school all the time. My middle school literally could barely afford lunch trays, so I don't know how you guys had this in your school, but more power to you because this thing is awesome. Essentially, it allows you to use any sort of conductive material as a keyboard stroke. Using alligator clips and occasional wiring, you can complete a circuit through yourself by holding the earth clip, touching something that's connected to one of the key clips, which goes back to the makey makey thus completing the circuit and once the circuit is complete it sends a signal to your computer and speaking of that we're going to be attempting to play the original paper mario on the n64 meaning that i'm going to have to replicate an n64 controller here you can see my arts and crafts skills shine as they are so incredibly non-existent this is probably the worst cutout slash drawn n64 controller ever but hey what are you going to do now the pencil letter graphite or whatever is in pencils nowadays that was used is actually conductive so as long as the buttons i draw on are somehow touching the alligator clips, I can send the signal through me, through the button, to the alligator clip, to the makey makey. After clipping on all the wires and some cable management that'll make anyone with OCD click off the video, finally I think I'm ready to test out my N64 controller. Obviously ever since the original Paper Mario, paper has been a pretty important part of the game. However, the first two Paper Mario games didn't rely on paper as a core gameplay mechanic, it was just a fun little visual gimmick. However, ever since Paper Mario Sticker Star, and all the way up to the Origami King, paper has been a central theme in the gameplay. Whether it's stickers, painting paper, or folding paper, paper is omnipresent in the more recent Paper Marios. Many people don't like this as it leads to relatively lazy moments such as the new Paper Mario where all the bosses are just office supplies. In the original Paper Mario games, there were intriguing characters, unique stories, vibrant locales, and the game didn't revolve around paper, it was just a game that happened to look like it was made out of paper. Because of this and the fact that paper is seemingly ever present in The Origami King, one of the main subjects of discourse in terms of previews for The Origami King is literally just that, paper. It's pretty funny to think about, to be honest. I mean, there are past Switch games like Sword and Shield where people are losing their mind about their favorite characters not being included. Heated debates over games like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze or New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe where the question comes up, is it ethical to charge for a game that people might have already played and came out six or so years ago? Here, people are just pissed about paper, although they do have a point. Anyway, with literal paper being part of the discussion with all Paper Mario fans, I just thought it would be funny to see if I could, you know, play Paper Mario with paper. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're playing Paper Mario with paper. This is so stupid. Here we go, movement test. Oh. Oh my god. This is the stupidest thing. Talk. Wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? 
Oh my. This <laughs> is so stupid. Okay, but just for just for clarification, all these buttons do work. I've jump. Plus, like, talking to people. B, well, I can't really show that B works right now, but it does. Z does the little spin. I forget what it's exactly called. I think it's just the spin. I'm gonna go into the... Th How do I... A? There we go. Oh my god. I'm going up top. Oh, wait, can I get in this door? I've never tried this. It doesn't seem to open. Okay. The one problem is, this thing is a D-pad, and it's supposed to be emulating an analog stick, so you can't really... You have to kind of do two at once in order to get, like, the slants. But, I mean, hey, there have been worse control methods. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just- Oh, probably shouldn't scratch my face with that. This always reminded me of that one Phineas and Ferb episode, um, like the Thaddeus and Thor one, where the Phineas and Ferb, like, treehouse just goes up to reveal just, like, a massive, like, mansion. That one shot always reminded me of that. I always forgot how, like, epic and grandiose this was. Here we go. This'll be interesting. Can't use anything else yet, so I'll just jump. Jump on Bowser. One damage. Very underwhelming. And just like that, Mario has been burnt alive. And just like that, we've beaten kind of the intro. Now we can hop into the prologue. I'm still at all that I can skip dialogue with the press of a paper button. That is so stupid. I mean, there it is. Obviously it's a little janky, but when I press the A button, when I press the spin button, right, up, left, down, it work. <laughs> it actually do be working though. That is so stupid. Apart from the occasional wire popping out from the Makey Makey, this thing worked flawlessly. It's so stupid to me that I'm actually playing the original Paper Mario with paper, but I mean, hey, if it works, it works. And yeah, even though I got a ton of graphite on my finger, and I legitimately got paper cuts while making this, it was still better than using the original N64 controller. <laughs>